Hey everybody, this is John KC0JH again, and today I'm going to activate another park for Support Your Parks weekend. This time I am about an hour and a half north of my QTH um, at the King Lake State Conservation Area, which is Park Kilo 6483. And uh, I know I said I was going to make another Alpha Antenna video. That is... That's going to follow this one. Um, which order they're going to get uploaded in, who knows. But I actually have a uh, cell phone tripod. So I was going to uh, try and record some of my QSOs tonight. But it got left at home. I am going to try to start focusing a little bit more on the videos though. Because I like watching everybody else's um, where, you know, they, they show their contacts and they, they you know, you can, you can hear the activity. And I appreciate that, and I'm, I'm sure everybody else would too. Um, just most of the time, it's, I focus more on making the QSOs and concentrating, especially because I haven't really been doing it that long. And if anybody watching this has talked to me on the air, you know it doesn't take much for me to get tongue-tied. <laughs> So I figured before the uh, Alpha Antenna video, I'd go ahead and show my setup this time. I do have the Chameleon Modular Portable Antenna System set up, part of it anyway. I've got the uh, coax running out here to the feed point. So I used the uh, Chameleon Stake with the uh, Hybrid Mini. And then I've got the, uh, whichever it is, 73, 75 foot element that comes with it up into that tree. And if I remember right, you're supposed to have the counterpoise running in the same direction as the antenna itself. I could be wrong on that. I checked my SWR with my uh, Reg Expert Stick Pro, and it's, it's a little high. My 7300 will definitely tune it out without a problem, but... Uh, I was setting right at about 2.9 on 40 meters. It was a little less than that. I want to say about 2.3, somewhere in there on 20 meters. And 17 meters looked to be about the best. It was about 1.7, if I remember right. I've done some other things since I checked it, so I've already forgotten. <laughs> um, I do have to say that this throw line I had in my video yesterday, I might just uh, drop a link to it because I'm, I'm pretty impressed with this stuff. I mean, it's, it's hard to mess up paracord, but uh, this stuff, I got this little Weaver uh, line storage bag and it's perfect. Uh, there's a hundred foot of this uh, high-vis green paracord in it and this stuff comes out of that bag when I throw this like butter and I got the 12 ounce uh, weaver throw weight I got the uh, I, I did have the chameleon 14 ounce weight I bought it from chameleon when I got my uh, LEFS antenna figured I'm it's right there might as well just buy them both well on the first throw the uh, chameleon throw bag split open on me. Um, chameleon was awesome. They, uh, I sent them a picture of it, said, you know, this thing broke on the first throw. And uh, they're like, yep, yeah, we saw the picture. We got your email. Um, we'll refund your money. They were, I was, I was highly impressed. And I think I said that in another video. If I did, I apologize. I know it's not that big of a deal, but I, I'm one that doesn't really like repeating myself most of the time. I've, I've had, I've done way too much of that. Anyway, my next video, I promise, I will, uh, I will record some uh, contacts and QSOs. Uh, I, I would honestly really like to get some of the, the contacts I've had in Spain 
uh recorded because that's that's cool and i don't know if it's just dumb luck or what but the last i think four activations i'm gonna have to look and see if it's the same guy because honestly i i forgot to do that but i've had uh spain hunt me someone in spain my last four park activations in a row maybe five which is really cool and uh yesterday i got one i thought he said denmark but this guy was way down in the dirt he was maybe a two by two at the very best and when i looked up his call sign it was uh mike zero lima echo delta it showed england but he could have been in denmark on vacation who knows i just i picked up denmark for some reason but uh that contact was extremely hard to hear but I'm going to get rocking on uh, the uh, Alpha Antenna video I've been uh, kind of putting off for reasons. But, uh, yep, this is the setup. I'm going to shoot that video real quick and get it ready to upload when I get home probably. And then I'm going to get on the air and get this park activated. I hope everybody's had a good weekend. The weather today, it rained and rained and rained. We had some pretty good thunderstorms at home um, earlier today. I wanted to get out early this morning and try to get my first early activation, but that didn't happen. Um, it's humid. I'm sweating like a stuck pig, but it's only about 85 degrees, so it's a little bit cooler than it has been. And by cooler, I mean we have been in the 90s pretty consistently lately, so... I'm definitely sweating, but uh, it's worth it, especially for this view. This is amazing. We've got some we've got some beautiful terrain in Missouri, that is for sure. And you can see and probably hear the the breeze blowing a little bit. I found uh, found this parking lot that's completely empty. I'm off in the shade. It's just absolutely beautiful, but I'm going to get to it. As always, thank you for watching. I greatly appreciate it. Like and subscribe. 73, I hope to see you on the air.